I love this stage, the lights, the projected color. It's a reminder of how our world is wreathed in voltage. Since the days of Benjamin Franklin, electricity has found new purpose and cyclically birthed ages of technology. 1803, Giovanni Aldini terrified and inspired the world by revivifying cadavers to move with electricity. In the 1850s, the telegraph communicated cross-country and blossomed into electrical communication we still use. In the 1980s, the ancient practice of data manipulation on paper evaporated with computers and ethered into apps. Electricity should be boring by now, but waves of revolution ripple up from initially small innovation to consume and transform our world. Why, when we see the timeline, the consistency of change, could we ever think the wonder is done? Let me give you a preview of where electricity is going next. This is an actuator. It's paper-thin plastic that moves with electricity. It's fast. It can pulsate complex vibration you can feel. Haptics that we heard about yesterday go faster than the eye to sing complex music. It can morph to precise shapes. At the molecular level, special molecules take electricity to forcefully untwist, expand, so that the whole material morphs and changes shape. One way we're applying this technology to health is an actuating heart catheter. It's a minimally invasive device with plastic inside. It's a tube thinner than the veins of our blood that goes within our body to operate from the inside. There's no room in these devices for mechanical components because the walls are a millimeter or thinner. We've taken this technology and applied it so that we can go inside the body and morph dynamically to do operate and heart surgery from the inside. Our body is filled with veins. They connect, dissect, and we intelligently sweep the aqueducts of our body. We needed a thin, soft, smart material that could move. We have that technology now, and this constructed plastic does even more. Just as electricity makes plastic move, movement creates electricity. It's a sensor an interface between the digital and our analog world to give sense to electronics that can then respond. We connected a tablet to our actuating cart catheter to give digital intelligence to this nearly living plastic. It's able to sense and feel inside the body and it's capable of responding without interference. So I implore you to look at our static world, where everything we use doesn't morph, doesn't change, doesn't respond, when there is electronics in every device and plastic everywhere. Look at your life, your world. What do you see that should have movement? It doesn't have to be useful, let it flow. What do you see that should move? Because we're surrounded with electricity, and now electricity can move things. Thank you.